know what it means to talk about the moment before the Big Bang because we know how to talk about the moment before your birth or the moment before the Civil War or the moment before any event that happened in the world. We fully understand the meaning of that kind of sentence. But it could be that when it comes to the Big Bang, the sentence actually doesn't mean anything. It could be that the Big Bang was the place where time itself started. And uh, Hawking himself had a wonderful analogy to get this across. He said, look, I'll dress it up a little bit. Imagine you're walking on planet Earth and you pass by someone and you say, hey, can you point me in the direction of north? I want to walk in the northward direction. They point you, continue to walk, you pass by somebody else, say, hey, which way is further north? And they point you in that direction. But when you get to the North Pole and talk to somebody there and say, hey, how do I go further north? They look at you and say, whoa, that question doesn't mean anything because this is where north begins. There's no notion of going further north than the North Pole. And it could be that that spatial metaphor applies to time. Talk about a billion years ago, or 10 billion years ago, but if you go to 13.8 billion years ago, the Big Bang, that may be where time started. And you can't go further back in time than the very origin of time itself.